just a snapshot of what we have seen and we are all talking about the weather tonight as the strong winds and heavy rain put a damper on the start of the Memorial Day weekend. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sarah Shookman. Russ has the night off. So just how long will this rain and wind last? Our meteorologist Matt Standridge is in for the cheap tonight with a first look. Hi Matt. Hey, good evening, Sarah. It's been windy all day, especially this afternoon and evening. Right now those wind gusts are still clocking in over 30 miles per hour, especially once you get very close towards the lake shore. There's just nothing blocking it. That northeast wind on the backside of the storm system just keeps hitting us right along the lakeshore communities. However, once you head further south, we still have some wind. It's not maybe quite as strong. We still have gusts over 20 miles per hour in Worcester, Akron, and in Canton. And guess what? The wind is likely to pick up throughout the overnight hours. You're likely going to hear it overnight. And those northeast winds are also keeping us pretty cool. Most of us are now in the 40s. It's upper 40s in downtown. You get back out towards uh, the west side suburbs. We're back in the mid 40s, 46 in Medina. Same story in Elyria at this moment. And then on top of that, like Sarah mentioned, we have the wind, but we've also had the rain. A lot of us picked up just under an inch of rain today. And right now it doesn't look like much is going on. Got a couple sprinkles near Wayne County and Hopes County. What you can't see, though, is a lot of these clouds are really low and they're giving us a patchy mist and we'll have that patchy mist the rest of the evening hours. Tomorrow we'll continue to have more of these northeast winds and then also more rain towards Indiana. This band's going to head towards us. We'll let you know when the next band of rain will start to move on through and Sarah will also let you know when the wind will finally calm down. That's coming up. Now we are looking forward to that, Matt. Thanks. Well, thousands of people across Northeast Ohio are without power now because of today's storms. At last check, First Energy is reporting some 18,000 power outages, mainly in Cuyahoga, Lake, Ashtabula, and Lorraine counties, those lakeshore areas Matt was talking about. Cleveland Public Power says they are working to restore service to a few remaining customers. Well, the area hardest hit by the storm seems to be Port Clinton, where fast moving Lake Erie waves swamp the city in a matter of hours, shutting down ferry access to the islands and other activities. As Will Uick reports, this is not the start to the summer season the area was hoping for. Never in a million years will we think this would happen. For Steve Hammer, the flooding in Port Clinton did more than just close roads and cancel the walleye festival. The entire road was completely flooded had to wait across the road to get over here to find out all my stuff was gone. It damaged his business. Dollar wise, I don't even know. It's going to be, it's in the thousands. He and many other vendors are in the same wet shoes after rain and heavy wind caused flooding down trees and power lines and threw debris all over the city, stranding motorists along the way. We have pulled probably 25 people out that have not taken them out of their vehicles that have not heated the barricades. The fire chief says one of the reasons it's so dangerous to be driving through this water is not only do you not know how deep it is, but you also don't know what's underneath of it. There's a lot of debris today from the wind and the flooding. You see behind me that some limbs have gotten knocked over, blown around some trees as well, some pieces of the building. And then if you come over here, you can actually see fish from Lake Erie on the sidewalk. It's gotten so bad they had to pull the snow plows out to move it all. You know, there's a, a debris. I'm surprised I don't have a flat tire yet. But there's debris all the way under. And while snow plows clean the streets of dead fish in Port Clinton, 23 miles away, Cedar Point was forced to close down, as well as the ferries to Putin Bay. A couple years ago, we had it pretty high, but not like this. This is the worst I've seen it in a long time. It's a scene those living along Lake Erie have witnessed in different severities before, and luckily are prepared for it. They put dikes, banks, high end, sandbags, anything to keep the water out. Port Clinton police say there's been no reported deaths, just stuff that needs cleaned and replaced. So the community, as well as the festival vendors, will just clean up, dry off, and attempt to get right back to lakeside living as soon as Mother Nature allows. Sunday and Monday, hopefully, I'll come back out. I won't have the tent, but I'll have a table, and I have some, you know, whatever I have left at home to bring out to sell. So we'll regroup. You know, it's nothing we can do anything about. Mother Nature is pretty unforgiving. In Port Clinton, Will Uick, 3 News.